Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yandan with Evening News. The headlines. Health and Family Welfare Minister Dr. Mansuk Mandavia says government is committed to ensuring early detection and affordable treatment of cancer. Government increases budget allocation for national service scheme. The centre decides to continue the Rashtriya Yuva Sashakti Garan Karyagram scheme for another five years. And Road Transport and Highways Ministry issues draft notification regarding mandatory fitness of vehicles through automated testing station. As the number of COVID-19 cases are rising fast in several parts of the country, we appeal our listeners to be vigilant and get fully vaccinated and help others, including children between 15 and 18 years, to get vaccinated. With the new Omicron variant of coronavirus causing concern, please continue to follow these three simple steps to stay safe. Wear a face mask, maintain six feet for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075 and State Helpline number 1800-345-0019. And now the news in detail. Union Minister for Health and Family Welfare Dr. Mansuk Mandavia said that the government is committed to ensuring early detection and affordable treatment of cancer. On the occasion of World Cancer Day, Mandavia asked to join hands to intensify the global fight against cancer by spreading awareness about a fatal disease and helping those who are suffering from it. In Nagaland, Deputy Chief Minister Y. Button urged to reaffirm the commitment to ensuring early detection of cancer, access to life-saving services and raising awareness about it. Button called to work together to dispel myths and make the world a better place. World Cancer Day is observed on the 4th of February every year to create awareness about cancer and to encourage its prevention, detection and treatment. Government has increased the budget allocation for the National Service Scheme NSS by 97% in 2022-23. Government decided to continue the NSS over the 15th Finance Commission cycle at an outlay of 1,627 crore rupees. Union Minister for Youth Affairs and Sports, Anurag Thakur, thanked the Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, for approving the continuation of NSS and extending the tenure of NSS for another five years. Central Government has decided to continue the scheme of Rashtriya Yuva Sashakti Garan Garyagram for another five years from 2021-22 to 2025-26 with an outlay of over 2,710 crore rupees. The decision was taken with a view to achieving the objectives of developing the personality and leadership qualities of the youth and to engage them in nation-building activities. Road Transport and Highways Ministry has issued a draft notification regarding mandatory fitness of vehicles only through an automated testing station. The notification said that a renewal certificate of fitness is needed every two years for eight-year-old vehicles. However, the renewal will be every year in the case of vehicles older than eight years. The notification said renewal certificate for heavy goods vehicles and heavy passenger motor vehicles will come into force with effect from 1st of April 2023 onwards. However, in the case of medium goods vehicles and medium passenger motor vehicles and light motor vehicles, it will be applicable from 1st of June 2024 onwards. Uttar Pradesh has been selected as the best state WA of Republic Day Parrot 2022. Mekalia backed a third position for its WA on Mekalia's 50 years of statehood and its tribute to women-led cooperative societies and self-help groups. For the first time, the general public was invited to vote for the best marching contingents and best WA in the popular choice category through my GOV platform. The online poll was conducted between 25th to 31st of January. As per popular choice, the marching contingent of the Indian Air Force has been picked as the best marching contingent among the three services. DD Sports Channel will not telecast live the opening and closing ceremonies of the Winter Olympics being held at Beijing in China. External Affairs Ministry spokesperson Arindam Bakchi yesterday said that it is regrettable that China has chosen to politicize the Winter Olympics. 
he had said Shade affairs of the Indian Embassy in Beijing will not attend the opening or closing ceremony of the Beijing Winter Olympics. In a tweet, Prasad Paradi CEO Sashi Shekhar Vembadi said, consequent to the announcement by the Ministry of External Affairs, DD Sports Channel will not delegate live the opening and closing ceremonies of the Winter Olympics. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel, AIA News, Kohima. Agriculture and Welfare Minister Narendra Singh Dumar today said that more than 11 crores, 70 lakh farmers have been benefited under the Pratan Mantri Kisan Saman Nite. In a written reply in the Rajya Sabha, he said 1,82,000 crore rupees have been released to farmers in various instalments. He said a scheme was launched to provide income support to all landholder farmers families across the country. The government today said 613 lakh 95,000 metric tons of batty has been procured up to 24th of January during ongoing Kharif marketing season 2021-22. In a written reply in the Rajya Sabha, the Minister of State for Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, Ashwini Kumar Jaupe, said the batty had been procured from around 79 lakh farmers at a minimum support price value of over 1 lakh. 20,000 crore rupees. Government today reiterated its commitment to provide minimum support price MSP to farmers for their produce, saying a committee, as announced earlier, will be formed after the completion of the state assembly elections to make MSP more effective. Replying to supplementaries in the Rajya Sabha, Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Minister Narendra Singh Dumar said, the government had referred the issue for, of forming a committee on MSP to the Election Commission. He said the commission has asked the government to set up the committee after the polls. Minister of State for Agriculture and Farmers' Welfare, Kailash Chowdhury, said the government has increased the MSP to 1.5 times and it is continuously procuring crops on this basis from the farmers. Vice-Chancellor of Jawaharlal Nehru University, Jagadesh Kumar, has been appointed as the Chairman of University Grants Commission. Kumar has been appointed for a period of five years from the date of his assumption of charge of the post or until he attains the age of 65. Deputy Commissioner Zeminu Dr. Zasya Gule Chusi has informed all the drawing and dispersing officers, DDOs, of the district that there will be a familiarization training on e-pay system at Deputy Commissioner's Office, Zeminu, on 9th of February. All the DDOs of the government offices under Zeminu district, including those DDOs under Bukubuto subdivision who are facing difficulties with the e-pay system, have been informed to debut the office assistance for the training. The concerned staff has been requested to bring a laptop with mobile internet facility for the purpose of hands-on training. Nagaland State Rural Livelihood Mission, Miluri Block, in collaboration with Administrative Department, today launched a weekly bazaar at Miluri. The program was initiated in order to boost and encourage local farmers of Miluri subdivision and Puchuri society as a whole. Various SHGs have been enthusiastic and efforts were given to produce agro-based by-products. One day in a week was scheduled for promotion and sale of products by the SHGs. Nagaland today reported 79 fresh COVID-19, raising the state's COVID tally to 34,759. Of the fresh cases, Dimapur reported 58, Kohima 15, Moguchung 2, Woka 2 and Wanich in Beren and Mon. State Health and Family Welfare Department said 93 recoveries were reported today, increasing the total recovery from the infection to 31,798. One COVID death was reported in the past 24 hours. Total active case in the state is 787. And now it's when the news here the main points again. Health and Family Welfare Minister Dr. Mansuk Mandavia says government is committed to ensuring early detection and affordable treatment of cancer. Government increases budget allocation for national service scheme. The sender decides to continue the Rashtriya Yuva Shashakti Karan Karyagram scheme for another five years. And Road Transport and Highways Ministry issues draft notification regarding mandatory fitness of vehicles through automated testing station. 
That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.